a gun sent to me. I repeat, the gun was sent to me. Uh, but it's just that word that says gun, gun, G-U-N, gun, as you can see that, right? So unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm experiencing racism here on this platform called TikTok, and that's Chinese TikTok in, right here in China, because I am a black foreigner, because I am a black foreigner. Now, a gun, G-U-N, a gun. I saw a gun in form of emoji. So there's sort of a culture here. If they want to express themselves, they send emoji, they send words, they send something nasty, that's what that's exactly what i'm experiencing so the gun was posted in my account on doyen this chinese is expressing this particular individual here is expressing himself racial 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 aggressiveness towards me why why being aggressive this person is expressing racial threats or violence towards me why why violence towards me and intimidation and harassing this is called harassment if you send a gun or emoji or words that's harassment i'm being harassed here with a person who is so hostile to me this is called hostility towards a black foreigner this is a prejudice any kind of a form of expression or communication, whether it's a emoji, but anything that has to do with a gun. Imagine me, I show another person of a different race, I send words that says gun. How would you feel if it was you? I know that, you know, when you send a gun in China, actually, let me just share this quickly with you. When you send a gun or anything or any piece of something towards another race, when you are racist, you get more likes. That's how it is over here, right? So, but why should you get views, likes, comments, and generate your income just being a racist to me? This is not acceptable. It is unoffensive and it's threatening. What does it mean to send me a gun emoji or to send me a gun uh, 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 words? A Chinese, you know, that comments and just says because I'm a an African or because I am black, there's you know I will tell you something. There have been more reports, you know, reports, especially among the foreign teachers, black ones, discrimination, racism towards African foreigners, and there have been also unreported discrimination against. I mean that has happened to me throughout since I came. Discrimination and any kind of a racism towards is deeply underreported. It's because we just ignore, we are afraid to report it. Because if you report, they'll send you back home. Your contract will never be renewed. If you express yourself here, your contract will never be renewed when you express your dissatisfaction towards somebody who is a racist to you. So everyone deserves to be treated with the respect and dignity. It doesn't matter whether you're Chinese, the skin of your color should not be a determination or an issue. Let me ask you this question. What's wrong with my world? What's wrong with my continent? What's wrong with my country? What's wrong with my tribe, my ethnic? What's wrong with my the color of my hair? What's wrong with my height? What's wrong with my age? What's wrong with who I am and how I look? How my skin color? What's wrong with that? What's what's wrong with my intellect? What's wrong with my education, my culture and culture? What's wrong with all these things? You should understand, you know, people, if you call yourself that you're most powerful country, or you are at least becoming one. Remember, race is a social construct. Somebody constructed this idea that, okay, I'm going to look at the color of uh, the color of your skin. I'm going to look at the color of your hair. That's not a race, to be quite frank with you. So brothers and sisters, please be smart about this. Race is a construct. A social construct race based on the on my physical how i look right now and the color of my hair and how my hair woolly hair and it does not characterize me as somebody different from you 
it's just the color. We all have two hands, two what, two feet, you know, it doesn't matter. But so just the skin color. And you find, you, you should understand the things that you're doing right now will have in, impact on both of us, economic, political implications on me as a person. Just like, you know, you earn a little money uh, or you earn less than a white teacher because you don't like me. And now the boss is, says, I'm going to pay you less. That's definitely myopic and not a biological fact. You should understand it's myopic and not biological facts. Okay. There's, there's nothing about the whole thing. Race based on the physical characteristics, such as hair texture, you know, such as, you know, facial features and how my facial looks, you know, because my, you no, know, maybe, you know, we have a black people, the long nose, we got a black people, the small nose, a flat nose, just like any other race on the planet Earth. Let me ask you this question. Are you, you Chinese people, are you superior to me now? Are you saying are, are, are black people inferior to you, Chinese brothers and sisters? Is that for real? Let me ask you this again. Are you superior to me? You are a superior race? Are black people, your black brothers and sisters, are they inferior to you, Chinese brothers and sisters? For real? I guarantee you there is no scientific truth that you are superior to me this is i'm just saying this the racial any kind of racial actions that you take against me that it presents or represents aggression and violence towards me against anybody else showing you know a gun or any firearms you know whatever you what does a gun do it shoots and kill and means that i will die you are racially motivated. I'm being frank with you. You just can't do that just for views. You cannot do that. What messages are you sending to the rest of the continent, to the rest of the country? What do you want? You want everybody else to, to start shooting me? To, to start shooting every black person? Is that what you're looking for? Is this why you don't want to be all, you don't want to open up to outside world? Why are you glorifying violence? Do you want to harm me? Okay, now I'm harmed. Are you happy? Please stop. If you want to use any emoji or any words, any kind of emoji, use it responsibly. Okay? China is trying to break our broker peace in the world. So I'm asking you, Chinese, are you ready for China to become a powerful country in the world? Are you really seriously ready when you send me a gun about to shoot a black guy? Do you know, are you ready for the world to be civilized because China is becoming powerful? When you are giving a less salary to black foreign teachers and giving more salary to the white race, based on that, do you understand this? If your parents, parents prefer white teachers over black teachers, are you ready for the world to be a leader in the world? Are you ready to broker up peace when you need to fix this first? Language to shoot me. Do you know how to use emoji? Do you really want to shoot me when you show me the gun? Do you really want to shoot this guy? Do you know how to communicate? Really? Do you know how to promote peace? Please, China, please teach Chinese people. It doesn't matter. I'm going to repeat this. It's not all the Chinese that are racist, but something needs to be done, especially the TikTok. They need to sense if somebody does this, that person should be completely blocked. AI, artificial, I mean, China is ahead of this. So do you know how to understand the complex world, especially when you send a gun emoji to somebody like me, just because the color of my skin, have you ever had any empathy? Stop promoting killings you should not do that and why are you trying to hunt me so if you show me the gun are you hunting me and why are you hunting me down just because the color of my skin why are you what kind of operations do you have up your sleeves why are you competing to shoot me with a gun you know why is it don't you understand this is a crime and this is called a terrorism is this one you want to spend your time on your phone sending such gun to me and you try to terrorize me? It doesn't matter who you are, whether you're Chinese or not. But if something happens to me, if I die from that gun or, or from any kind of a stress that you're causing me, that will be a very serious 
crime and it will be an international crime. Please stop it. Educate your people. Thank you. I repeat, the gun was sent to me, uh, but it's just that word that says gun.